In the following video, we're going to talk about the two knives of the trimmer mechanism. We will explain how they work, as well we will give you some tips on how to troubleshoot the trimmers in case you experience any issue with it. Located below the needle plate, you will need to remove the needle plate and rotary hook cover to have access to them. The two blades you see in the video, they are the ones that cuts the thread, every time the machine detects a trimmer command in the design. The way we identified them is one to be the movable knife, and the other one the fixed knife. Both knives have a letter on top. That means that these two blades are compatible to work together. If you have the need to replace the knives of your machine, we highly recommend to replace both knives at the same time. And always make sure the letters on top matches. The reason for this is that both blades works together with friction. And with the normal use of the trimmer mechanism, the two blades wear together, making a unique and compatible wear between the two blades. If you only replace one blade, exists the possibility that the trimmer won't work properly, due to incompatibility of the blades, since one blade is new and the other one is worn out, even if both blades have the same letter on top. The trimmer mechanism of the embroidery machine works very similar to a regular pair of scissors. In order for a pair of scissors to cut, requires that the two sharp blades have an evenly friction between the two blades in order to cut things. Same thing happens with the two blades installed in the embroidery machine, when the thread is in between the movable knife, and the sharp fixed knife, thanks to the evenly friction between two blades, is possible to achieve a thread cut. In the next segment of the video, I will show you how you can manually test the trimmer, to see if the two blades function properly. First you will need to locate the step motor that moves the movable knife, it is located underneath the machine. In order to manually move the movable knife, you will need to turn the metal knob of the step motor clockwise as it's shown. Place a piece of thread as it's shown. Then turn the metal knob clockwise until the knife enters underneath the fixed knife, you will feel the friction between the two blades and the thread will be cut. If in your machine, the thread doesn't cut, is probable that the knives of your machine requires adjustment or to be replaced. If the knife cuts the thread manually, but it won't cut when the machine is performing the trim, is probable that it will be required to adjust parameters in the control panel. Next, I will explain how the two blades are installed in the embroidery machine. The movable knife is installed to a small base with a small shaft that is holed with a collar with an Allen screw. Thanks to the base with a shaft, it is possible for the blade to be moved. The fixed knife, it's screwed inside the needle plate base. Also it's the one that requires to be leveled, or properly adjust, in order to create the perfect friction between the two blades. Maneuvering all these three screws you will be able to level the fixed knife, to achieve the perfect friction between the two blades. In order to test the friction of the two knives, you will need to apply ink with a marker to the tip of the movable knife, Then manually move the movable knife as it's shown in this video. Then you will need to evaluate if the ink of the marker erases evenly in the movable knife. If erases evenly, this will be a good indication that the friction is okay to perform the next test with a piece of thread. If the ink will not erase evenly, it will be required to readjust the fixed knife until the proper friction is achieved between both knives. Once the ink erases evenly from the movable knife, like it's shown in this video, the next step is to perform manual thread cut, to see if the knives are cutting properly.
In very rare occasions, you may have the issue of the two blade crashing, when the machine is trying to perform a trim, then the error code, trim not in place shows on control panel. If this issue is happening to you machine, first you will need to remove the needle plate, as well as the rotary hook cover. Then manually open the movable knife to the position it's shown in this video. Carefully inspect if the movable knife have an up and down play, if it has this play like it's shown in the video. Readjust the lower shaft collar to avoid any play of the movable knife. Test again if the movable knife has no play. Then manually place back the movable knife to its home position, and test the trimmer to confirm that the issue was solved. Next, we will talk about the step motor, and the safety sensor that works all together with the movable knife. In order to have access to these parts, you will need to remove the right side back cover from the machine. In here you will see a step motor, a sensor, and an arm connected to the step motor, that helps move the movable knife. This is an example, of how it looks when the trim mechanism performs a trim. Now in slow motion. When the red light turn on in the sensor, this means that the machine knows that the movable knife is in its home position or safe position for the machine to run safely. If the red light of the sensor is off, the machine will display an error message in the control panel that will indicate that the movable knife is out of its safety place. In order to fix this error, you will need to make sure the knife is at its home position. If your machine is displaying error 26, we highly recommend to turn off your machine and turn it back on. When the computer is booting up, the machine automatically will retrieve the knife to the home position. If error persist, we will recommend to remove the needle plate, and inspect both knives to confirm that nothing is blocking the movable knife, to return to the home or safe position. If the step motor of the movable knife is not moving, we will highly recommend to inspect the cable connector. Unplug and replug the cable connector, to see if this fixed the issue. If not it is probable that you will need to replace the step motor of the movable knife. In order to maintain your trimmer system healthy, we highly recommend to maintain this area clean. And once a week, we will recommend to apply one drop of oil to the tip of the movable knife, as it's shown in this video.